The local weather authority forecast is brought to you by Dorset Hyundai. See all the 2019 lineup with a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. Had a great time this morning. We were out at a couple of schools. This is the Crane Credit Education Essentials, where the fine folks at Crane Credit will come in and surprise a class with some supplies. And this class was fourth graders at West Vigo Elementary. I did a little weather talk while they were interested in the storm coming up this weekend. And you can see all their crane shirts they got, and they got some other goodies as well. And from there, we headed on up into northwestern Vigo County up to Fayette Elementary, and that's where we ran into these kindergarten students. Talked to them about the weather as well, and they got some nice things from Crane Credit. So thanks to Crane for being a part of that. Had a great time today out there in western Vigo County talking to some students and a lot of questions about the weather coming up. We've got a winter storm watch tomorrow night. Tomorrow night to Saturday night. All of the blue shaded counties, this would include areas over here at Coles County, Edgar County, Illinois, and points north. In Indiana, it's Vigo, Clay, and Owen, and points north. Again, that's tomorrow night into Saturday night. So we're fine for another 24 plus hours. Temperature wise, we continue with a warmer than normal January, but we're going to be chopping away at that. Plenty of cold weather just around the corner. Here's our storm. We've been tracking this all week. It started out about 4,500 miles away by the Aleutian Islands in Alaska. Part of it is on shore now. Part of it's still out in the Pacific Ocean. Once it completely comes over land, we get even better uh, computer model trends, but we're getting kind of honing in a little bit on a little bit more details on what it's going to mean for this area. And we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. 40 the high, 34 the low. Look at this record though, 22 below zero back in 1977. Not a lot of rain. We got two tenths of an inch here at the station. We're still drier than we should be midway through the month at 0.71. But this next storm is going to have quite a bit of moisture to work with. Sunrise, sunset tomorrow, nine hours, 47 minutes of daylight. River stage in Terre Haute's rising again now with the rain. It's up to about nine feet in Terre Haute. At Terre Haute at the airport, 36, a little bit of a wind chill, 31. The pressure is down at 30.03 and humidity high. A lot of moisture in the air, maybe a little fog yet tonight. Temperatures pretty much in the 30s everywhere. We still got a 40 down in Vincennes and a 41 in Florida, but we're pretty much in the 30s across the area. First storm moves away. Here comes the second storm way out here, and you can see this. It's pretty impressive. Pretty big storm out across the western part of the country. That'll be crossing the country and impacting us by eh, after midnight tomorrow, primarily a Saturday event. Here's our satellite and radar locally. Any showers we had have moved out, just some drizzle left over, and that's really about it. Let's time the next event. Here we go. Nothing tonight, maybe a little fog. Nothing tomorrow during the day. You're completely fine. Tomorrow evening, completely fine. Later, though, watch the clock. Once we get into probably after midnight, here comes the next system. So this is almost 5 a.m. Rain south, snow in the northern areas. Then as we expand into the morning hours around 8.30, we talk about snow across the northern areas. Southern areas a mix to rain. And then as we get into the day Saturday, I think everybody will transition into snow as it ends. So obviously you can see the higher snow amounts are going to be north where we're going to see the snow last longer. So it's still a tad early to put a number on this because of the rain snow line. But I can tell you right now, you get up in these far northern areas, that's the heaviest snow. And it could be quite a bit of snow. Uh, basically, I-70 up to that band, a mix changing to snow. And then down south, there'll be less snow because it's going to be rain changing over. So you kind of get the idea. The heavier snows, the farther north you go, less amounts to the south. But again, just a bit early to try to put a number on the snow. We're going to keep an eye on that tonight. But some things to look for. More snow to the north, rain snow to the south. And look at this. The northeast winds will gust over 35 miles per hour on Saturday. So wind is going to be an issue. Watch what happens. Not much wind tonight. Not much wind during the day tomorrow. But Saturday, look at these winds coming in from the north, northeast. These are sustained winds, 20 gusting to 35 miles per hour. And look at the wind chill as we go into Saturday evening. Wind chills dropping down, and it's going to get quite cold behind that storm by Sunday morning. So here's your forecast for tonight. Then cloudy, some areas of fog, 29 for the low. During the day, tomorrow, 35. Fine during the day, nighttime, that mix moves in. That'll carry us into the day on Saturday, changing over to snow for everybody and windy behind it, really cold, and another storm due by the middle of next week. That's your busy forecast. Sports coming up right after the break.